Hi, so let's do a quick problem here. We're going to do something like a problem here. 1, 3, 3, 1 to the power of negative 3 times a fraction here of 1, 11 to the power of negative 3 over 121 all to the power of negative 2. Okay, so how do you do this? Well, we, could, we should start by focusing on one section of the problem at a time. So let's do this fraction here, okay? So let let me rewrite this here of 11 to the negative 3 over 121 all to the power of negative 2. So when you have something like this, uh, outer power and a small being applied to a item, the entire item, in parentheses, what you do is multiply the power to each exp each co expression within the parentheses. So, not expression, but each component. So, this 2 will be applied to this part, this numerator, and this denominator. So, let's do that. So, we have 11 to the negative 3 over 121. And remember, every number is actually to the power of 1 and negative 2. So when we apply it to each of them, we have 11 to the negative 3 times 2 over 121, 1 times 2. Okay? So what what does that equal? Well, that equals... Oh, well, yeah, so that's a negative 2. Sorry about that. Oh. That's a negative 2. Okay. So 11 times to the power of negative 3 times negative 2, that is a negative 6. Sorry, that's positive 6. Negative, negative makes a positive. And 121 to the power of negative 2. So where does that, where does that leave us? So let's rewrite the entire, um, re entire problem with our new, uh, with our updated calculations. So we have... 1, 3, 3, 1 to the power of negative 3 times this fraction of 11 to the 6th power and 121 to the negative 2nd power. Okay? So we have this. So now what do you do? Well, we could do something like this. Uh, let's see. So we know this interesting trick. Um, that is, when you have a negative exponent like we have here, and here, okay, what you could do is you flip them so that if, if, if the number, if the component is a numerator, it becomes a denominator and the negative goes away. Like here, this is a numerator, this will become a denominator. And this is a denominator, this will become a numerator. So what, let's do that. So this, this will become a, a numerator, a denominator. So we have 1 over 1, 3, 3, 1. To the power of 3, remember this negative goes away when you flip it around, times this 11 is already a positive, has already a po already has a positive exponent, okay? So this stays a numerator, so it's 11 to the 6th. Now this 121 here has a negative ex uh, exponent, so this will become a numerator. So we have 121 to the power of negative 2, and since the denominator is gone, we have a denominator of 1. Okay, so let's see. Let's rewrite this more cleanly here. 1, 1 over 1, 3, 3, 1 to the power of 3 times um, 11 to the power of 6 times 121 to the power of 2 and 1 here. So now let's simplify this fraction. Um, when you multiply the fractions here, we have like something like you multiply the denominators and multiply the numerators, right? Okay, so let's do that. So we have multiply the numerators, so 11, 6 times 121, 2 and we have 1, 3, 3, 1 to the power of 3. Okay? So now we could use our calculator to calculate this. And what does this equal to? This equals to 11. So, 
So here's our answer. One through oh, oh, oh sorry. One three three one to the power of negative three times eleven to the power of negative three over one twenty one over that looks like a parenthesis, doesn't it? One twenty one, okay. Uh yeah, sorry about that. Uh, to the power of negative 2 is equal to 11. So I hope this helps. And thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments. Goodbye.